Good morning guys. Today I'm walking you guys through leg day. What this means is what I eat in a day but on leg day. It's going to be completely different than anything you've seen. Um, I've never recorded this before so the difference in leg day than like any normal day is I'm trying to actually build my legs but keep myself lean as well and with doing that it's called carb cycling. I'll explain all this in the video but today just walking through this. The first thing I'm doing is eating my oatmeal. It's going to be, uh, I usually do a half a cup, but on leg day, three fourths of a cup of oats. Uh, I'm going to put one scoop of Live Body uh, German chocolate cake protein powder, the whey one in there, uh, mix it around with some almond milk, and eat that for breakfast. So that's going to be very, very first on my list to do today. Then I'm going to go to the gym, work off these carbs, kill it in the leg day, and then everything else is going to be a bit different with as far as what I eat. Being it is leg day, I do eat more. So, Stay tuned, and let's go through the day. All right, guys, we're heading to the gym. I just got my power crunch bar. Oh. I'm going to do legs today. Um, so I'm basically fueled right now. I had my oatmeal. I'm going to do hit legs, and then afterwards I'm going to have this right away um, just because, I don't know, I love this bar. And then we are going to run some errands, come home, and have lunch. See you there. finished the gym oh man it was leg day we did 10 minutes on the stairs and usually I do like 20 to 15 or 20 but I did about 10 just because it is leg day half the time on leg day I don't do um, cardio but we wanted to warm up did our whole workout oh it was intense so now we're going to Publix to get um, food for lunch because we need to get some and I'm eating this on the way to hold me over so we're cooking lunch. We just went to the store. Um, I got these boil in a bag, sorry, microwave in a bag, Brussels sprouts. So I microwave them, but they're so, to me, I want them to see that crispiness right there. I microwave them first and then I throw them on the skillet and brown them. And I put like onion powder and all that stuff in there. Steve doesn't like those as much. So we got these for him, same kind of thing. Um, we have salmon in the oven. Oh, that looks so good. Can you guys see that? So we're gonna have salmon today, um, and then dinner will be a little different. Then over here in my little crock pot, we have red potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and steam these up, and this is gonna be my main carb source for lunch. So um, I'll let you guys see the final piece when I'm about to eat, how much I eat of each. Um, being it was leg day, I'm trying to hit at least like, I don't know, maybe like 150 to 200 grams of carbs. So probably 200, that's that's a lot for me. I don't eat a lot. Um, and I like I said, I'm already at about, I'm not even at that much, probably like 50 right now. So I've got a ways to go. Um, and I'll show you guys the masterpiece when it's done. Mm -mm -mm. So the potatoes weren't done. So I had a little bit of leftover squash from yesterday. So I'm gonna eat this squash for now because I gotta go. Um, gotta run some errands. So here's the salmon squash, like almost a full cup of squash. That's a lot there. And then, um, about a half a cup of Brussels sprouts or more. I don't even care. I just love Brussels sprouts. And then this salmon is pretty, pretty big. So this is what I'm going to have for now. Being the squash isn't as carby as potatoes, I'll get to eat those later. 
Hey, it's four o'clock. Next on the agenda for my food today is going to be a protein shake. It was leg day. I gotta make sure I get in a lot of protein. Uh, Live Body has either vegan or whey that I have here, but I'm gonna use the vegan one because I love it. It tastes so good. Like I would never know it's vegan protein. There's also in here um, digestive enzymes, probiotics, and like greens, which you would never know because it's like chocolate. So we're gonna do a full banana in here. Um, I've been like running around like crazy. I should probably have eaten more by now, but I'll eat a lot of carbs for dinner. But I'm just gonna go ahead, put a full banana in, put one scoop of this, and voila. Let's put that in there. And a big old scoop. Big old scoop. Yum! That'll be next. Okay. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Next snack, we've got some cream cheese, the bagel thin right here. So I have put everything so far that I've eaten into my fitness pal. I don't track my macros anymore. Obviously I haven't had dinner yet or anything like that, but um, I do not track my macros much anymore just because I already know kind of what um, I'm supposed to be eating. And it's funny because I'm like right on track, even though I didn't track anything today. I'm at 120 carb. 36 fat which is pretty low and it's awesome and 95 protein so with all the food that i've eaten today that's where i'm at so i still have about 30 more grams of protein for dinner um and then another probably 50 grams of carbs and a few grams of fat so it's actually spot on so the reason i go over this is because macros are so so important when uh really trying to get to your goals the fastest way uh it's not about just like macros 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 like people hear that and they're like oh macros it's literally just tracking the, your carb source your fat source and your protein source so it's not like this intricate thing it's really just okay i can see on a piece of paper or on a graph like i use my fitness pal I can see that I'm only at 95 protein. I need to eat way more protein for dinner. So it kind of just sways my decision of what to eat. So, um, sways. <laughs> um, so when it comes to like fat, avocados, nuts, all that stuff, I'm at 36 already. Um, so I know for dinner I'll probably have cut. So everything I just went over, I talk about this in every single one of my challenges. I do have a new challenge in uh, January. It's a New Year's challenge starting January 13th. I am giving one person in my challenge $10,000 cash, and that could be you. Like, what would you do with an extra $10,000 cash? And all you got to do is go to my website, uh, www.jordankefid.com, and click Grand Prize Contest. Sign up there. Um, but it is a crazy, huge opportunity. Not only there's cash, but I go over all this stuff in all my challenges. So it's so beneficial to you to learn. Um, I know this is a lot of information up front, but in those challenges and that whole month's worth of learning, I'm there every day talking you guys through this. And even if this is not your goal, your goal is to just lose weight, I'm there for you too. Or even if your goal is to just gain weight and not carb cycle i'm there for you as well i'm there for everyone no matter what it is um, i've had thousands and thousands of clients and a lot of awesome results so if you think you have what it takes and want to do this to win that ten thousand dollars cash but also just it doesn't even matter if you have what it takes it matters if you believe in yourself and you just want to start this fitness journey i'm here for you i want to be your coach so sign up because signups are ending soon so i didn't show you guys dinner yet because we didn't have it but we stopped it out earlier. Oh, this is like a once in a three month kind of thing. Like, it doesn't happen very often, but all carbs, so. And I kept it pretty clean. I mean, look at Steve's. I'm just pretty clean, so. Vulcan season. Carbs. Ah. This isn't, I'm not telling you guys to go get frozen, but I deserve this. I deserve this. If anything, leg like day is the best day to do it. So we're back home and we're ending, I'm ending this video right now on dinner. 
Um, I did have that for OEO. I didn't put a lot of the toppings in it because all those toppings are like fatty, like sugary, um, frozen yogurt. Yes, it's frozen yogurt. I'm not telling you guys to eat that. But what I am saying is that it could be just all carbs if you're just sticking to the yogurt. Uh, it's not even that bad. So anyways, for dinner, I have about a half a cup to a cup of rice, probably three-fourths. Um, and then I'm going to do about four or five ounces of turkey. And I'm going to go ahead and heat this up and get my Brussels sprouts on there. So... That's it. I'm done. I'm so full right now, and I I, I feel like I just need to eat, though, because I want to grow those legs. But tomorrow, back on the normal meal, cardio, all that, um, and that's how I maintain my lean. Ah, so, hope this helped you guys out. Hope you guys take this into consideration, like I said before. And please like, subscribe, please, if you like it. Subscribe. <laughs> I just said that. Yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.